Any modern program or education on black history will always try to tell you that the black race was a race of savages or a race of slaves, but this is far from the truth. When we look back at history, especially throughout the period of the 1500s to the 1800s, we see kings, queens, lawyers, mathematicians, leaders of state. We see knights and saints. Slavery as you know it was a hoax or what we call a psychological operation because the black race was already in Europe as we can see depicted in the art here and we also know that the black race was already in America. All of the photos I am showing you are from European royalty. By understanding our true history we can break the stereotypes that are cast out for us in society. Those who don't know their history are doomed to repeat it. For more information, join my Patreon. This is part two. I made a part one video of how Jesus' real name is in Jesus. As a recap, God and Jesus' original names were Yahuwah and Yahusha. So how did Yahusha get changed to Jesus? The name Yahusha is in Aramaic. The Pharisees spoke Paleo-Hebrew. They translated Yahusha to Yeshua. Another word for Shua is Shoah, which means destruction. Some of y'all probably heard the gospel song. Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua. She wasn't saying yes you are. She was saying Yeshua. The Paleo-Hebrew translated meaning. Now, they changed Yahusha name three times. Yahshua was the first name or the first time. The Romans then came along and they used a Greek translation and they called him Esuas. Look it up. The British Empire then came along and they called him Jesus. Now let me enlighten you. The letter J has only been in the alphabet for only 498 years. The letter J was the last letter to be added to the alphabet. So this whole time we've been calling this man something completely different. But like I said, that's what took me to the scripture. John 5 and 43. I have come in my father's name. Now you see that these names are exactly almost the same. And you do not receive me. If another one comes in his own name, you will receive him. That's what it is right here. Things literally be in our face, but we do not pay attention. Generation after generation, they try to change the meaning of words. But when it all comes back, it's what the original meaning matters. These people come along and try to make new meanings for words, words that already have a meaning. For example, his name. Hey, I'm just putting y'all on.